to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. That when men say there is a casting down, for me, I can say there is a lifting up. It's not just some Christian jargon. This is truth based on the mind of God. Ah, that the wisdom of God is at work in me. It is true. This is the mind of Christ. You have to believe it. Do not think this is childish. You ignore this, it will be to your peril. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. The mindset of the kingdom. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day, it says the Lord will set you on high. This is my destiny in Christ. I sustain that mindset from whatever background and regardless any situation that he will set me on high above nations. Not above contemporaries. Above nations. Verse 2. It says, and all these blessings shall come upon me and even overtake me. This I believe. This I believe. Huh. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. I'm showing you pieces of scripture that reflect the mind of Christ. And I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of anybody including enemies of egyptians and the proof is that when you go you will not go empty i believe it the bible says strangers shall feed your flock this is god's mindset listen you have to choose what to believe this is not just some pentecostal thing no believe me this is how the kingdom was framed it says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god many people keep arguing this and they are failing they are broke they are mediocre they are going down they are sick nothing is happening in their lives superior belief systems cultured by the word of god when I get up in the morning, I say, this is the day the Lord has made. My emphasis is the Lord has made. Who made the day matters to me. Because I need to know if my interest was represented in that day. And if it is the Lord that made that day, I am secured. Because I know what the Lord can make. He is the maker of the heavens and the earth. So if he made a day, a thousand shall fall by my right, he said. 10,000 by my right side but he says I need not fear why I will only stand and watch and see the reward of the wicked my Bible tells me that the fullness of my days I will fulfill this is what I believe you can't imagine I was saying it humorously somewhere you can't imagine the number of text messages I get quite honestly apostle be careful I just had a vision and I saw your name in a shrine and I know they are not lying it will be foolish to think at this level the devil will be clapping to. No. But did the Bible not say, Behold, I give you authority over snakes and scorpions, he said, and over all the powers of the enemy. And then he said, Nothing. Here's the key word, shall by any means. There are many means. Many means. But he says, shall by any means. Your realities are framed by what you choose to believe. Are we together now? Yes, sir. So you must make up your mind. It is not about I am a Yoruba person. It is not about I am an Igbo person. It's not about I am a Hausa person. I'm a Northerner. I'm an American, a European, Asian. No, no. The Bible says we have been called out of every tribe, every tongue, every kindred. Immersed in the kingdom. 
baptized into Christ through his spirit and you must sustain that superior belief system listen to me there are many of you respectfully speaking and please don't feel insulted you have been in this city for many years and the city does not know you why because it, there is a belief system that makes dominion work you have to know what you believe you have to choose what you believe i made a covenant with god and this i believe i found out from scripture that jesus never met anyone twice for the person to be blessed and i made a covenant with god i said lord you are sending me to minister to people may i never have to meet someone twice for his life to change yes sir because you will meet people who are at a point of life and death there's no time for playing games and dilly dally the messianic prophecy isaiah 61 the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me upon me upon me upon me it's a revelation the spirit of the lord is upon me it's not trouble that is upon me god told me what is upon me whatever he did not say there are yokes that can come on people but he told me what is that if i ever feel heavy what is upon me is the spirit of the lord this is my thinking so there's no room for depression to say this is upon. Uh, 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 uh. the bible tells me if you ever feel anything upon you it is the spirit of the lord and then he says help them please he says he has anointed me i truly believe i am anointed find a way of believing this this is not a pastor's thing this is not a minister's thing let me tell you what it means to be anointed it comes from the word to be smeared with oil but that simply means authorized anointing is a system of authorization it legitimizes your operation so that you can minister the power of god these are ordinary hands yes my family members are here my sisters are here biological people but when i met him something happened to me and i believed it i believe that i'm not ordinary look i'm not bragging forgive me i am i'm revealing something to you when you hold that file it's not five fingers that is holding that file uh -uh. please find a way of believing what i'm telling you help them please for as long as you are the only one holding that file a door will never open for as long as you are the only one preaching your your words cannot carry that power the ability of the spirit your words become like arrows sent into destinies dissecting impossible situations why because you are aware i read in my bible jesus said it and i believe and the lord walking with them confirming the word with signs so i expect it that whilst i am teaching whilst the word of god is coming there is an unction kalis kebarata an unction healing an unction delivering an unction opening doors this i believe this is the supernatural power of a transformed mind your mind can give the holy ghost space when the man of God was leading us in worship here, one of the things I was praying for is, Lord, help your people understand what you have done to us. Help us understand that we are not ordinary. This is not a Pentecostal thing. These hands are not ordinary hands. Hear me, doctors. Hear me, medical people. That is not only an injection. An injection should not have more power than your hand. Believe me when I tell you this. exalted reigning and ruling with him in power we have been commanded to bless and i believe you hear people come and testify here let me tell you this i've told you that prophecy does not only reveal it's not only when i call names of people and numbers no that if it is true you are anointed 
then the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the gate of men's destiny because you will release something from the throne through your mouth to the destinies of men and let me use the opportunity and declare over someone in the name of jesus the son of the living god i speak over your life and all that concerns you step into new dimensions of the spirit new wine upon your destiny new dimensions of spiritual illumination in the name of jesus christ hear me let me speak over your life that any man who fights you goes down instantly please sit down we're about to pray shortly Enter the new, says the Spirit of God. Enter the new. I'm bringing you into the new. Shalindes tene kapaharande shadia. Pragades kili manakatosia. Enter the new. Mantedes kebarita. Pegadebele ketebarakatosia ta. Enter the new. Stay at the spirit of the Lord. Listen to me. Please hear me. If you are in ministry here, in the name of Jesus from tonight, Step into a supernatural dimension of ministry. No more preaching and sharing the grace with people sleeping as though you is not God that is talking to you. What kind of a ministry is that? The next time you go to lead that prayer, the next time you go to lead that fellowship i'm speaking by the spirit the next time you go to your prayer group the next time you lead the the, the fellowship at your workplace i release an unction upon you i release an anointing upon you you will speak with fire you will see signs following in the name of jesus christ the spirit of god the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hear me, business people. Listen to me. It takes more than buying and selling to prosper. There is truly a grace that can help men. There is a grace that can give men visibility in this kingdom. It's called the hear ye him anointing. The anointing that compels systems and structures to acknowledge the workings of the spirit on your life i don't care how limited your business has been in the name of jesus from tomorrow i stand by the grace of god i place an unction upon what you do and in the name of jesus let it prosper by the spirit of the living god defying the laws of failure i release you to prosper hallelujah listen we're talking about mindsets and strongholds please listen to me it's not enough to just receive jesus into your heart you have to journey with the Holy Ghost and through scripture to begin the work of transformation. It's one of the hardest, if I would use that expression, assignment of the Holy Ghost in the life of a believer because most believers are not malleable enough. Every time I'm before him, I tell him, Lord, I'm, I'm before you. I'm aware of my limitations. I'm aware of my limitations. I ask that there be an exchange. 
a supply of strength and power there are so many sick people depending on my life there are so many confused people grant grace from heaven Solomon Lange called him my helper. Mete makona. Mete makona. Listen to what you are saying. Mete makona. Mete makona. Basanji soro. Mete makona. Mete makona. Bazanji konya ba. Listen to me. For some of you, you may not know what has come upon your life. It's until you step out of this place tonight. All of a sudden, you will watch doors open. Supernatural doors open. You will open your Bible. And a strange dimension of illumination, revelation, knowledge coming upon you. Hear me. Everything he said here is true. You can believe it. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the works that I do, you shall also do. He says, greater works. I believe him. I sincerely believe, I sincerely believe that I can never be disadvantaged. Honestly, honestly, I believe it. When the Lord sent me to this city, the Holy Spirit instructed me to get the map of Abuja. And when I dropped the map on my table, I said this city is so small it's not pride all of a sudden i saw just six local governments we are well able joshua and caleb the remaining came back with all kinds of reports the bible calls it evil reports you have said many things about yourself god did not tell you you have received many things that were not given by God. It's time to change it tonight. It's time to refuse. It's time, even if you are the first person who does it from your family, there is grace for you. Is someone ready to pray tonight? Lift your voice and begin to pray all across this building. Pray in the spirit for one minute. Go ahead and pray. Koinonia, pray. All the overflows, pray. Outside, pray. Someone pray over your life. Casting down every imagination. Go ahead and pray. I tear down wrong mindsets that came from culture. I tear down wrong mindsets in the name of Jesus. I tear down wrong mindsets that came from my past. I tear down wrong mindsets in the name of Jesus. I adopt the mind of Christ, the winner's mind, the victor's mind, the winner's mind. The victor's mind, the winner's mind, the victor's mind. I tear the wrong mindset. The mindset that tells you you cannot rise in politics. The mindset that tells you you cannot rise in business. 
the mindset that tells you you cannot rise in ministry tear that mindset down in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. The next prayer point. You are going to confront head on every challenge that has stood before you and mocked the God of the Bible. I release my faith with you in this corporate atmosphere. Call it by name and command it by the Spirit. Get out of the way. It's time to advance. It's time to make progress. Someone pray. Someone pray. Financial mountains. Someone pray. Mountains of spiritual laxity. Mountains of prayerlessness. Mountains of wordlessness. Pray. This is a ministry of prayer. Who are thou mountain? Before Joshua Selman. Who are thou mountain? Before Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, you be cast into the sea by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now please look up. Look up, we are still praying. I want you to make very powerful declarations. Don't be afraid. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Let the anointed of the Lord say so. And whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. Are you ready to speak? over your destiny and over your family lift your voice and begin to speak i prophesied as i was commanded i decree and declare the lord is my light and salvation are you declaring by the spirit of god my path is as a shining light shining ever brighter please don't be quiet don't be silent i decree and declare by the spirit of god prophesy your global disability prophesy your increase Prophesy your prosperity, declare by the Spirit of grace. I rise by the Spirit of God. Greater levels of prayer, greater levels of passion, greater levels of fire, greater levels of love, appetite for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus, going from glory to glory, grace to grace. Grace multiply, wisdom multiply, power multiply. Hallelujah. 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 Two more prayer points that were done. Let me tell you this. We are about to pray. You are going to call back everything that left you and yet is not in God's divine purpose to leave you. The Bible says, where fell it? Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And he drew a stick and the axe head came back. Help them, please. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me. You have to sustain a superior mindset that everything that lives your life is still in the earth and there is a technology to call it back to your life. 
relationship opportunities are you ready to pray lift your voice in the name of jesus help them please help them please and I will restore to you the years that the canker walk, the palmer walk has eaten. Command restoration over your destiny. Command restoration over your life. Command restoration over your prayer life. A greater dimension of prayer fire. A greater dimension of God's fire. A greater dimension of spiritual diligence. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I have a covenant of peace. Call it forth by faith. You are not wasting your time. Call it forth by faith. Call it forth by faith. Call it forth by faith. I call back my honor by faith. I call back my lifting by faith. I call back the fire of my destiny by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. We're about to round up. Listen to me. I'm a student in the school of the spirit and I have learned and I have come to respect the power of the anointing. It is truly what is on you that controls what is around you. It is true. And for every time you come to this ground, there has to be something that will rest upon your life. It says, my horn has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed. Salah I am anointed. I am anointed. I am authorized. Authorized to do business. Authorized to do ministry. Authorized to advance. The power of the Holy Ghost is a reality that we must embrace it says for with God now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all that we ask or think according to the power is the word energies that works in us there is an energizing of the spirit hallelujah listen I'm about to speak over your life there are words that are empty there are words that are informative but there are words that are trace they carry deep mysteries on them hallelujah madam what is your name this woman on black huh what's your name come who is choma what's your what's her name huh who is Chioma? Your Chioma. Madam, please just give me five minutes. Look at me. Where are you coming from? 
you're here in Abuja, I want to pray for you. Your life is truly about to change. You believe in Jesus. Did you come alone? I came with my sister. Where is she? Because it's two of you. God is visiting the entire family. Where is the person? Lord, you took my pain away. And then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody. In the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will be Hallelujah. Ijioma, this is what I'm hearing. Who is that? Ijioma, what's your name? What's your name? Ijioma. You've taken the pain and the sorrow. You've given me peace on the night No need to cry. There is a grace for favor, madam, that is coming on you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus, may that grace take you to realms, superior realms in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, hold your hands together. Truly speaking, let me tell you, I give you now and the next one month, the way God is going to shift all of you. I stretch my hands. Take that grace. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you step into superior dimensions of favor. This is by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please don't come out at random. Our time is gone. Our time is gone. We are yet, we are yet to have our first miracle service in Abuja. And I, I, I'm not sure we may do it this month, but by the grace of God, we would have, by His grace, soon, our first miracle service here, where who allow the Lord to move in ways and stamp down darkness once and for all. Hallelujah. The power of God is going to come on one of you. This four ladies looking at me. I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. New dimensions in the spirit. This is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. In the name of Jesus. I bless every one of you and I pray for you, even by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will never return the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never return the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me talk to one more person, James. Who is James? I'm hearing the word James. Who is James? You are wearing like a green nose mask or something like that. James, who is that? What's your name? What's your name? What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor? Yes. Where? In, in Kubwa. In Abuja here. Yes. Your own ministry? Yes. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, I stretch my hands. There is, there, there is still a need for many, many, many servants of God doing great things. And I tell you, the days of superstar christianity in terms of exclusivity and fighting other people those days are over we're united force in the name of jesus regardless our differences doctrinally etc we are one big army advancing the kingdom can i have a believing amen i pray for you sir may the lord empower you you return back to your assembly a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus the christ amen. of god I decree and declare fresh grace, Amen. fresh power upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My brother, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In Jesus' name. That which has never been done, even in your family, may my God use you to do. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sir. Now, I don't... I don't do politics in church. I don't. I try as much as possible to not do. I love lands you in a lot of trouble. But sir, I will talk to you. But I'm seeing you climb a ladder in politics. There is a strange. The, this is this is even just the beginning. 
this is what God is doing that that's something we'll discuss in a personal basis but I'm telling you that do not plateau you are just about to rise there is a great destiny for you even politically in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please bring me someone who shouts now loud under the anointing the hearing of everyone let me just talk to that person and we're done so here you are from Christ Embassy who is that I want to pray for you I'm seeing that you're a pastor you're from Christ Embassy sir look at me I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God what do you do sir I'm a lawyer and also a pastor. You're a lawyer and a pastor. Yes, sir. Don't feel bad. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man on chains from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. A lawyer and a pastor. But in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I declare, I stretch my hands. Let it come to an end now. Everything that represents captivity, I release grace upon you, sir. Amen. You will go back and you will do exploits in career and in ministry. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. If, is, there, is there a pastor like that? Is there someone like that? You're a pastor? I'm not seeing a pastor, but I'll pray for you anyway. But you're, you're a pastor? Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will carry superior dimensions of the giftings and the grace of God. Where is that pastor? You are, you are a worker here. Pastor in Christ's embassy. Or I don't know if you were or was or something. Oh, it's you. Where is your... You, you are here alone where is your wife wife come quickly please there is an oil there is a grace that is coming upon you God is not done with you both of you I stretch my hands by the Spirit of God and I pray for you both this is what the Lord is revealing to me there is a dimension of the healing ministry that God wants to bring you into receive that grace take that anointing both of you will walk in superior dimensions of the healing grace i release that anointing from today step into it it's an impartation by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ experience the hand of god in the name of jesus every other person who is in ministry here step into supernatural dimensions of results in the name of jesus christ supernatural dimensions of results very quickly very quickly the greatest encounter that you can have listen carefully is an encounter more than miracles more than most thing i am the way he said yeah in the main auditorium and all the overflows down and the overflow outside and those watching you are here and you're saying apostle hearing you teach hearing you talk hearing and seeing the one some of you you are saying that well I, I did now aside from those here and those at the gallery every other overflow inside and outside I will request that you move to your projector screens and then those inside here you belong to any of those categories please make your way gallantly as we clap for them God bless you God bless you don't wait for someone to be the first to come. Be the first. Take that bold step and come. In the name of Jesus, let's appreciate them. There are people here. There has to be someone who God is calling because he adds daily as many as should be saved. If there's someone there, he adds. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget 
tip leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing